In condenser or electric microphone, the sound affects the membrane, which is one of the capacitor plates. The membrane is made of a polymer tape with a metallization layer applied over it. As power is applied to the microphone and the capacitor is charged, the air vibrations are affecting the membrane and thus cause a change of capacitance. A special feature of the condenser microphones is that usual panel input is not used to strengthen the signal. And each condenser microphone has a special matching cascade, which amplifies the signal to relate to the mixer console or other device input. And although the signal form of a condenser microphone is greater in level than the dynamic one, however, it is intended for microphone inputs of a device, but not for the line in ones. As the weight of the membrane in a condenser microphone is much less than the weight of a cold membrane in a dynamic microphone, Condenser microphone ensures better sound representation in comparison with a dynamic microphone. Unlike dynamic microphones, all condenser microphones require power supply. Power supply of a condenser microphone is implemented by a separate power supply unit or by a phantom power unit through the signal cord. Most of the modern condenser microphones use a supply voltage of 48 volts. Additionally, the condenser microphone uses 1.5 volts for amplified powering as with all the amplifier, the signal that comes out of it is very weak. In pressure receiving microphones, the sound wave affects only the front side of the diaphragm. In pressure gradient, difference receiver, it affects both the sides. Also, condenser microphones can be conventionally divided into tube and transistor microphones, according to a type of the used amplifier. Which of them is better? The answer is very ambiguous. Perhaps the only touchstone in theory of a tube microphone is a rather high price and therefore high quality diaphragm cases. What is a consequence gives it a more lively sound.